Okay, the verdict for today. People do not know how to use the word ebullient. <laughs> there were quite a few people today who said ebullient quite a few times. And it was my favorite part of the meeting, hearing every single time it was said incorrectly, Jeff whispers, <coughs> ebullient. <laughs> Starting off with Christy Marie's Disney table topics today, I quickly felt my generation gap between some of everyone about noticing some of these references, but it was still very well done. Jeff, never having heard of James and a Giant Peach, went into beautiful imagery of his favorite memory of an old green dock and submerging in the water. Very, very beautiful. Blake saying, I used to be in sales, and that nose continues to grow. <laughs> Victoria Wells, did I keep my cat after finding my dorm didn't allow them? Yes, yes I did. I will be right with you, girl. Will Hammond, with the Lion King reference, I don't think anyone noticed, with pushing, choosing to push your uncle off of the cliff, had a wonderful story about his dad. Even though you want to strangle him, they're still family and a wonderful father. Tim Taylor, I was very ambulant, but we can't talk about that in here for your first date, but still end up marrying her and been with her for 40 years. Wonderful. Linda Miller, our Halloween queen, forgoes being a princess to go into the haunted mansion instead. I would be right there with you. Gary Adams using epulent, but still goes into having us all get dogs for each hand for our meetings from each shelter. Very, very good. Brandon Moore, correct use of ambulance, great job. Also never having seen Lilo and Stitch. I'll let you go for that, Brandon. <laughs> Morris McNitt, very beautiful table topic today with tracking the trail and finding where those paths lead with going at a time. Very, very descriptive. Mark Shear, correct use of ambulance, great job. And to live boldly, live live, and let it rip for all of those topics today. Tim Linger, I speak eight languages. Tim, I paused for a second, like, he, he knows eight languages? He can't, he, he can't know eight languages. Finding out it was Scotland, England, Bohemian, Australian, South African, and so on. You got me for a second there. And very great feedback where it doesn't matter whether you're speaking to five or 500 people, being confident up here is the most important. Mark Wright, the crackle of your bag in the beginning was no lie a paid actor. I was writing down my uh, writings and I heard the crackle and looked up and was automatically drawn in, like, what's in the bag? and then proceeds after saying that we're the most divided since the Civil War to argue about soda and pop. Regina Resende, I am at Broadway for free and I had to deal with this table when I am being colorblind. Very hilarious. Bunch of other things in there, Regina, I could have written down, but I don't have enough time. Eva, I felt stuck like a little mouse. Great use of a simile there. And I started looking for ways to improve myself. That was very wonderful. You fit right in here with having a growth mindset and wishing to always improve. So welcome to the club. Ardian, how do you evaluate a speech about evaluating a speech and going into how meta that is? Very true. And Carlos Benitez, the best dad joke of the day award goes to you for saying that Mark Wright is always right. <laughs> and lastly, Jordan Kamiker, we forge bonds with each other over the years in Toastmasters, and that starts with an icebreaker. You were very, very descriptive and well-spoken today. I loved your evaluation. I voted for you. And overall, great speech, guys. Great use of words.